breaking, Cowboys player going to prison for life after who he just stabbed to death overnight. With the nation at odds about the fate of the NFL, we're all left to wonder what good the National Football League brings us. Obviously, it's entertaining, and some would even say unifying, plus it's an industry that employs a lot of people. However, it also creates superstars out of people where the only required merit is athletic ability. This is only problematic if there is a generation who considered stardom to be the ultimate goal, no matter the price. Unfortunately, we have a whole lot of people today who ascribe to that less than productive mantra. Because the NFL players are put on such a pedestal, with the coaches and owners desperate to keep them in the game and the fans willing to look the other way, some have grown a god complex. That seems to be the case with former linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. Anthony Darnell McClanahan. McClanahan is staring his own mortality in the face, as law enforcement has caught up to him after he violently killed his wife, Carrie McClanahan. America's Freedom Fighters reports that McClanahan is being charged with first-degree murder. 46-year-old McClanahan has been arrested for the murder of his wife, 28-year-old Carrie Casey McClanahan. McClanahan is suspected of stabbing his wife KC repeatedly in the throat at the Park Regency Resort condominiums as of Thursday. Police were called to the condo complex at around 1.30 p.m. local time after another resident of the complex called them due to what they termed as a ruckus in the building. McClanahan himself flagged down a police car around the same time. Police found KC lying on her bed with knife wounds on her throat. She was pronounced dead at the scene according to local news affiliate Fox 13 Salt Lake City. McClanahan has officially been charged with the first-degree murder and Casey's death though his motive is currently unclear. Casey was the mother of two children, a 9-year-old daughter and a 7-year-old son from a previous relationship. This former member of America's team doesn't seem to be adjusting to civilian life too well. The life that many NFL players live is so charmed with the entire world moving mountains for them so that they don't have to pay for their actions, that it seems to give them a false sense of right and wrong. Whatever they can get away with is what they think is right and nothing is wrong if you can pay your way out of it. Sadly, this isn't McClanahan's first brush with the law. McClanahan also had charges filed against him for kidnapping his 80-year-old son from another relationship at his school in Maricopa County, Arizona, on October 3. The boy's mother found McClanahan the following day and demanded the boy back as she is his custodial parent, however, McClanahan refused forcing her to obtain a court order. He still refused to return the boy to his mother's care and was found by police on October 12. He was then arrested on a fugitive warrant and locked up in Salt Lake City Jail where he paid $150,000 bail on October 19 and was released. The boy was returned his mother upon McClanahan's arrest. He has been charged with first-degree felony child kidnapping in this case. It's a frustrating situation for anyone to see a person with so much potential going down the drain, but you can only really help someone who wants to be helped. Sadly, players like McClanahan think they have life figured out when they get signed to the NFL, but they forget that there has to be a life after the NFL. His story is one that's all too common with players who rise to fame quickly. Arrests for violence, either domestic or otherwise, drugs or DUI slash DWI are fairly common amongst NFL players and even in cases where it should the NFL seems loath to address circumstances that frankly, warrant being addressed. According to Forbes, more first-round draft selections will be arrested while playing for the NFL than will ever be named first-team All-Pro. The risk that a top draft selection will get in trouble with the law should be of genuine concern for the NFL. Perhaps if players of professional sports were held more accountable for their actions both by the NFL, universities, communities, etc. then perhaps we could avoid situations like what Aaron Hernandez or now more recently former linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys, Anthony Darnell McClanahan. McClanahan was signed to the Cowboys back in 1993 going on to play for the Calgary Stampeders and currently referred to himself as a sports performance consultant. 
McClanahan is apparently trying to blame his behavior on injuries sustained from his days with the NFL, the Salt Lake Tribune reported. Some people are speculating that McClanahan may intend to blame CTE the same degenerative brain disorder blamed for Aaron Hernandez's violent impulses that led to his imprisonment. While most of us were sad to see the NFL going the way that it has, there's no great tragedy without some small gain. The nationwide boycott of the league has reiterated to patriotic Americans that we are still in the majority. And it might just drop from our view the lives of those whose destructive habits could lead the impressionable down a very terrible path.